When you're in business and you don't get paid, that's a problem, of course. Whether you work for yourself or a company, getting paid is a key part of what makes your business work. So when you're doing business in English, you'll need to know what to say to remind your client about an unpaid bill. It happens, you know. Are you ready to give it a try? Hi, I'm your English coach, Christina, and welcome to Business English with Christina, where you become better at English and better at business. In today's episode, we'll talk about how you can handle a potentially uncomfortable situation and in English. It's when you need to follow up or to remind your client about an unpaid bill. You know, today you'll learn some expressions that you need in English and also some strategies that you need for handling this situation in your business. You get some specific expressions that you need to know for two of the most common but very different situations. When only one payment is late or when you're following up after several reminders. Before we learn all of those expressions, you're going to need a strategy for handling stressful situations in English. And we'll talk about that first. You know, as a neuro language coach, I know that when there is more pressure or when the situation is a little stressful or uncomfortable, it can feel like your level of English is not as good as usual. It's totally normal, but it does make it more difficult to do a good job. So that's why it's important to prepare your strategy so that you'll be ready to deal with that challenging situation and those feelings of discomfort. So let's try that now. My first rule of advice is to use short and simple sentences. Don't try to be super sophisticated or complex or advanced, none of that. Because if you're using shorter and simpler sentences, it makes it easy for you to speak in English, but it also makes it easier for the other person to understand you. You know, we live and work in international environments. So maybe the people that you're working with, well, maybe English isn't their first language either. And then there's the question of accents. Of course, we all have accents. You know, you do, I do, uh, your business partner in the UK or in India or China or Germany or wherever, we've all got our accent. And it's totally fine. But... Keeping your phrases shorter and simpler makes the conversation easier for everyone to understand. Sometimes my clients think that being fluent means speaking more quickly. Speaking more quickly, if that was too quickly for you. Now, of course, that's not true, but when you're nervous, we just naturally tend to speak more quickly. But in challenging situations, it's actually a good idea to slow down when you're speaking. It gives you more time to find your words, and it also makes you seem calmer and more confident. And that will also help the other person to relax in this difficult conversation. And of course, in an international environment, it makes sure that everyone understands. Now, when I work with clients and coach them through handling difficult situations, they often find that knowing the most important phrases, the ones that you know you'll use a lot, well, that can be very reassuring. No, you cannot memorize an entire conversation and you can't predict what your you know, business partner or customer will say, but, Knowing a few important expressions very well can help you stay calm and sound more confident and more professional. So here's a few expressions. Oh, and before we learn those expressions, can you please just hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to let me know that you're enjoying this lesson. All right, so when a client misses just one first payment, of course you want to remind them because, you know, People get busy, we all get hundreds of emails, maybe they saw your invoice 
and they just forgot to take care of it. It happens. But here's what you can say in that situation. Yes, hi, can I speak to Patrick, please? Hi, Patrick, this is Christina from Awesome Company. Um, I'm calling regarding my invoice for July. Um, the payment was due on August 15th, and it looks like I still haven't received the payment for it. Just let me know if you need me to resend the original invoice, and I'll be happy to do it. Notice that I said it looks like I still haven't received your payment. And what you're actually saying is that according to my records or based on information that I have. And it gives the person that you're speaking to the opportunity to confirm that information or to provide you with maybe an explanation or maybe to ask for some additional information like the date that you sent the invoice or maybe they made the payment and they can give you the payment confirmation number. If they say that they've made the payment and you need to double check your records to be sure of that, you can ask, could you please tell me the date when you sent the payment? Or if they say something like, we're taking care of it, or um, the invoice has been sent to the accounting department, then you can ask when you should expect to receive that payment. For example, can you tell me when the payment is scheduled? And that way you know when to expect it so that you can follow up again if you need to. Now, depending on your line of work or the customer, you may have to follow up on a payment or several payments that are months late after you've sent several reminders already. Now, this will depend on your situation and your company's situation, but here's an example to help you get started. Hi, this is Christina from Amazing Company. I'm calling regarding an invoice that is currently past due. It looks like I've already sent you two reminders and I still haven't received the payment. So if this is just an oversight, can you please make sure that the payment is made by September 10th? Now, of course, reminding a client that their bill is past due has the potential to be a difficult situation. But if you go into that conversation with the right strategies for staying clear, confident, professional, and if you've learned those phrases that you need to get you started, I'm sure that you will handle this situation like a pro. What if you realize that your situation, it's way more complex, like you have to follow up on a lot of past overdue bills, like with some of my past clients. In that case, you may need some help and some practice that is more specific to your situation. So don't forget that my team and I, we're here if you need some help with that. And if you don't use it, you lose it. So here's how you can use what you learned today. What would you say to a client who has a bill that's past due? Can you write that down in the comments and then practice what you wrote slow, saying it in a slow, confident way. It's a perfect opportunity to practice and to feel more comfortable with this difficult situation and make sure that you get all these expressions into your active vocabulary. All right, if this lesson was helpful for you, I'd love to know. And there are three simple ways that you can tell me. You can hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. You can go over to my website and get your free English habits kit so that uh, you can start building those solid learning habits for lifelong learning. And then you can also watch this next lesson, which is gonna help you to feel more confident in English. All right, thank you so much for improving your English with Business English with Christina, and I'll see you next time.